I was a journalist in New York, and it was so ironic to me that I would get paid more to write the tragic story of a legend of New Orleans music than they made in much of their lifetimes. And it, it was horrible. And to see these icons of music die in poverty was just not acceptable. When Hurricane Katrina happened, I thought, I'm going to step in. I'll do just a little bit until the cavalry rides over the hill. Before the storm, you had already transitioned from saying, oh, someone should do something about this, and then you'd grab the reins yourself and did something about well, this. Well, I was so. part of a team that decided we were going to create a health care resource for musicians. We were founded in 1998, and the first patients we saw were stage 4 cancers, and it was horrible. It was very hard on our staff to see young people coming in with something that if they caught it a year or two before. So we were doing a lot of hospice work in the beginning. After the storm, when the medical resources were wiped away, people who were struggling to come back and they were breathing toxic fumes they were working really hard. They didn't know if their musical careers were going to come back. Used us as an oasis for them because they were desperate to come back and they wanted us to be their band-aids. So it gave our staff the reason to come back. We had a clinic set up in New Orleans by Thanksgiving after the flood. By 2005, we had a clinic. And we had a lot of doctors came back to LSU just so they could work with our patients. So I feel like, in a way, it made health care a vital component in people's musical careers. Are there a couple of stories that you could uh tell us to illustrate the triumphs that the New Orleans Musicians Clinic and New Orleans Musicians Assistance Foundation uh, have gone through. The greatest triumph that we had was watching Phil Frazier of The Rebirth win the Grammy. I mean, it was amazing because he had suffered a stroke and it could have been a career-ending stroke. To watch Phil win the Grammy was such a triumph for him, and it made everybody who's ever donated or worked at the clinic feel like this is why we do what we do. Mm -hmm. 